Guiding Eyes for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that works to enrich the lives of the blind and visually impaired by providing them with superbly bred and expertly trained guide dogs. In the 18 months before taking on this role, the puppies develop confidence, intellect, and awareness through activities such as massages, exposure to new sounds and surroundings, and three to five days in the home of a volunteer as a part of their home socialization program with a lot of training, a lot of playtime, and a lot of love. Guiding Eyes for the Blind and its volunteers nurture and raise these heroes. We try to pick the, the best of the best to become the breeding dogs. Genetically lead uh, very uh, confident dogs. We want to pass that on. The labs we find are the best for this work because they're highly adaptable, they're smart, um, they're very friendly, and they're a hardy breed too, health-wise. When they're ready to give birth, they go up to the whelping kennel. Um, this is the place where the dogs are bred and the puppies are born. It's a very magical place, we like to say. I like to call the whelping kennel preschool, but in the whelping kennel it's all very soft because these are newborns. The first two weeks of their life, they don't see, hear, or smell. They do everything by sense of heat. Once the puppies are about four weeks old, moms start to get like they've had enough of them, so they start to dry off. Basically, when they wean from their mom, they go into the early socialization room. think and learn zone where they're exposed to stairs and suspension bridges and little mazes. All the everyday sounds you hear, we want them to be comfortable with. It's really important because this is the most one of the most important times for their growth and development. Their life is it's active. They wake up, they eat, they play, they nap. When they come to the breeding kennel, my kennel at six weeks old, I like to call that kindergarten. Our program uh, enhances everything that we do while the puppies are in our whelping kennel. All socializers know the proper care and behavioral things to work on with the puppies. The more positive experiences they have, um, it helps build their confidence. When they have their final evaluation at seven and a half weeks old, they will go back and look at all the notes that are in there on the puppies. This is what will determine if they're going to go into guide dog work. One of the main things that um, a guide dog has to have is a very high level of confidence. They need to be able to um, be able to guide someone through an environment safely. If you think about even in Manhattan and how complicated that would be. Most of our puppies pass and they go on to a puppy raiser. So when they go to their puppy raiser, I like to call that elementary school, middle school, and high school. They are with the puppy raisers until they're about 16 to 18 months of age. These are the people that take these puppies into their homes. When the puppies are only seven and a half weeks old, they love them, they care for them, they train them, they go to classes, they stay up with them when they're sick, and then they give the ultimate gift. They give them up so they can do what they're meant to do. So they're very special, very special people. Volunteers play a very important role in the journey of a, a puppy to becoming a guide dog. So you know, if you think that you'd like to get involved, there's just so many different ways. You know, we welcome anybody, and, and we're happy to have your help.